All right, we're live. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Nick from Australia YouTube channel. Welcome to the Thursday night football review for round number six of the NRL. And holy shit, Roosters versus Knights, or Knights versus Roosters, I should say. What a game that was. Absolutely chaos towards the end. Roosters looked home. They looked comfortable. But the Knights were coming to get them. But they blew it. They blew it. I don't want to hear anything about Newcastle robbed. Newcastle had some bad calls go against them. Because the Roosters did as well. So, if you're a Newcastle fan and you're upset, you have every right to be upset. But don't blame the referee. Do not blame the referee. Both sides had some shockers go against them. It is what it is. It was one of those games where it could have went either way. Could have went either way. I thought that was a very entertaining game of football, man. The Roosters did well, man. And I tipped the Roosters to win. I said on Monday, you know, even without, you know, Tedesco, Dom Young, Sam Walker, the Roosters still have enough quality to win the game. And they did. It wasn't pretty, but they got it done. As for Kalen Ponga, I don't know whether to believe he was injured or not, man, because he looked fine in the second half. I, I'm going to say he had a needle, some sort of injection at half time to get him going again because he looked terrible in that first half with that hip injury. Um, Hello to the live chat, as always. Hello to Luke, William Pearson, SS Storm fan, Immortal Wolf, uh, Michael Green Driver, g'day, um, everyone that's here, hello, York, GTT, hello everyone that's here, hey, definitely, he definitely had a needle bro, because he wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have been able to run like that if he didn't have, if he didn't have a needle, now, the Knights, you know, this is this is the exact reason they're not they're not a top eight side. This is the reason they're not a top eight team. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get into it in just a moment. But first, guys, if you're new around here, please like the stream, press the thumbs up button. If you're a regular viewer, then um, thank you very much for tuning in once again. You guys don't know what to do. Press the thumbs up button. Subscribe around here if you're new around here, and thank you very much to my um, usual cons consistent subscribers. Really appreciate you guys. And the other thing I want to mention quickly is if you guys want to donate to the channel, you can. There are options. There is PayPal. There is um, Super Chat. And there is Pay ID, which is through email. So... If you guys want to donate, you can. If you forget to donate and you want to donate after I'm already finished, send me a DM and I'll I'll um, hook you guys up of where to donate. So um, that's that out of the way. Now, guys, Newcastle. This is what I've been saying all year. The Knights are not a top eight team. Last year they were good. They had that fairy tale run. From mid-season, which got them going. They won, what, 11, 12 games in a row, and they were going well. But it's now a brand new season. It's a new beginning. It's a new era. There's new players. Old players are gone. The Knights don't have what it takes to be a top eight side, man. They um, they didn't replace their, their beast of a winger in Dom Young. And they just don't have the quality of players compared to other teams. Now, they rely too much on Caelan Ponga for one. When Caelan Ponga is off the field, Newcastle would be lucky to score fucking 12 points. Uh, when Caelan's on the field, they can score from anywhere. And you have a look at them. They don't have the greatest of um, of depth. They, they, they really don't, man. They changed their halves about three or four times already this year. They're not a top eight side, man. And you have a look at tonight. Roosters, man. No Tedesco. 
no Dom Young, uh, no Sam Walker, no Spencer Lenu. The Roosters had to comp completely reshuffle their side. Manu had to go to fullback. Power go to the wing. Michael Jennings at centre for game 300. They had to, you know, they had players all over the place. Connor Watson had to play 5-8. Luke Curie had to play halfback. Yet the Knights were still, you know, they were at home and they still couldn't get it done. Still couldn't get it done. So, look, I, I've got concerns around the Knights. I, I don't think they're a top eight team. Personally, this is just my view on them. I think the Knights are closer to the bottom four than they are the top eight. I honestly believe that. And that might be a bit harsh, but I think it's the truth, man. I think it's the truth. Um, the Knights are closer to the bottom four than they are the top eight. Without Ponga, they, would, they wouldn't they would score more than 14 points a game. Now, um, let's get into the game, shall we? Now, the Knights, they got off to a bloody good start, didn't they? Uh, first try of the game, Jackson Hastings for the second week in a row. Good stuff. 6-0 Knights, and then there was a um, bit of a problem. There was a goal line dropout that the Roosters were meant to do, and the shot clock was on, the 30-second shot clock, and the Roosters could not find the ball. Like, you know, Brennan Smith went off, went off with the referee and he said, we can't find the ball, we don't know where the ball is, and then Jared Sutton says, not my problem, and I'm sitting there watching it, and I'm going, not your problem, you're the referee. I I was I, I was shocked by that. I couldn't believe that. I thought the fact that the Roosters couldn't even find the ball for the goal line dropout and they got penalised for it was an absolute outrage. And then Sutton was going on about how how um oh it's not my problem blah blah blah. That's ridiculous, man. If the players don't know where the ball is, that's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy and. You know, you had Brandon Smith and Luke Keery going off. The, they had absolutely no idea where the ball was. So the referee should have just stopped the game at that point and said, all right, time off. But no, Newcastle got an extra two points out of that, which was ridiculous. Ends up being 8-0 Newcastle. Then the Roosters, uh, they, they got back in the game. Uh, Daniel Tupo scoring a fantastic try in the corner. Kalen Ponga probably a little bit lucky not to be... Um, on report there. I thought it might have been an eight-point try. I thought there was a shoulder charge there from Ponga on Tupo, but the the bunker cleared that, so it was 8-4. And then um, the Roosters hit back, man. They go uh, through the middle there. Victor Radley. This was a great try, man. It was well, Brennan Smith and then Manu, then Kiri, then to uh, Radley. Radley scored. Roosters go to 10-8. Roosters were looking good. And then um, there was another try there um, to Brandon Smith, which got the Roosters out to 16-8. Roosters were looking really good at that point, man. 16-8. Knights were in a little bit of trouble at that stage of the game. And then the Knights hit back pretty much on half time there through Bradman Best, a very important try. Half time, it's 16-14 in favour of the Roosters. I thought the Knights... Did pretty well to be down only by two. Uh, the Roosters could have easily been up by a bit more, but the Knights showed their grit and they stayed in the game at 16-14. And then, you know, second half, you know, for 20 minutes, it is just a, it's an, it's an absolute grind. There's not much going on. Both teams are bashing the hell out of each other. And then... um. There was a really tough no 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 try to Gagai. Look, it would have put the Knights in front. This is where I think a lot of the Knights fans are saying they were ripped off. The day in Gagai no try. Now, if you go back and look at it, there's a decoy run there from D Dylan Lucas, and he does contact with Luke Keery. But my problem is Luke Keery makes the defensive decision on Dylan Lucas which for me is play on, fair game, and Gagai's try should have been a try. Newcastle go in front, but unfortunately, you know, the obstruction rule, it's so black and white. Everyone's frustrated by it. Look, I think they got it right in the end, but gee whiz, I mean, 
when a player makes a defensive decision, you got to acknowledge that. It seems like the NRL bunker have gone away from acknowledging, you know, a defensive decision. And, you know, if it's if it's the attacking team's fault, which 95% of the time I've noticed this year, they blame the attacking team. But you got to remember, man, the defence... The defense has to make decisions as well. So, look, I thought that was a really tough call against Gagai. That would have put Newcastle in front, but I think that's why there's a lot of Knights fans being real upset about it. So, a tough one there against Gagai. Really tough one for me. I thought that should have been a try. So, it's what it is. And then about ten, five minutes later, I think it was, uh, Brendan Smith scores a try from dummy half. Roosters go to 22-14, to 14, and then with... About three minutes to go, Newcastle find a try through um, Adam Elliott. He ended up crashing over. What are we there? 22-20. Newcastle need, you know, a penalty goal for golden point. Maybe a two-point field goal. Whatever. A try to win it. Anyway, they get down the other end. And I thought Hastings was going to go for a two-point field goal, but he just kicks the ball downfield. There wasn't much on. And then... With about two minutes to go, Kalen Ponga makes a line break, runs about fucking 60 metres, gets tackled, they go left, Best gets tackled, then they go very close to scoring, and then for reasons I don't know, they kick the ball, caught by Terrell May, and the Roosters wind out the last 30 seconds, and they win the game, 22-20. to 20. Wasn't was not convincing by the Roosters, but considering who they had out, a win's a win, and they'll move on to the Storm next week in um, at Allianz Stadium there, which is going to be one hell of a game. Not sure if Tedesco will be back for that game, but oh, I hope the Roosters get most of their players back. That'll be a cracker next Thursday night. Roosters Storm down at Allianz Stadium, so I'll have to wait and see there, but um. A couple of players that I thought were really good tonight. I thought, um, thought Joseph Manu was probably best player on the field. He was outstanding. Um, Michael Jennings in game three hundred. I wouldn't say it was, wouldn't say it was unbelievable, but you know, it did it did the job. I thought Brendan Smith had a very good game. I thought um, Victor Radley had a very good game. Angus Crichton was good. Terrell May off the bench. Uh, Nafu White. They did well, man. Zach Dockett Clay came off the bench. He did some good things. Connor Watson at 5 8 was decent. They're pretty good, the Roosters. And for the Knights, look, I thought. I thought Kai Pierce Paul was good for the Knights. I thought Leo Thompson was good. Adam Elliott had a good game in the middle. Uh, Hastings and Cogger just. I don't know. Pretty hit and miss for my for, for mine anyway. Brabham Best was very good out there tonight. So look, the Roosters they 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 they, they grind it out. They get it done, and they'll move on to next week. My player of the game. Look, I got to give it to Joseph Manu. Manu was the best player on the field, man. So that's my player of the game. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the Thursday night football review. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I will be heading to Sydney tomorrow for, um, obviously, a big weekend there. Heading to Eels and Cowboys on Saturday. So I'm going to be down there tomorrow in Sydney. Um, so, yeah, it should be a good time, guys. I'll be Obviously, there'll be a match day vlog and whatnot. So should be a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday night and um, see you guys tomorrow for the Friday Night Football Review. Till then, see you later.